It's after six right now. Greg Moss is on where in the town duty this morning. Yes, his uh, first since he switched to the Rambler out for a more eco-friendly hybrid ride. Greg is at a company that's all about spindles and firefighting. Hi, wow. Greg. Good morning, guys. In the last half hour, we talk, talked to you what a spindle is and, and how it's used in the manufacturing process of high-tech equipment. We are indeed at Rocky Mountain Spindle and Assembly. Not only do they make spindles, kind of the heart and the soul of what, how they got started, but they're also doing something interesting here. This is called the IntelliGuard. Uh, this is uh, one of the systems here that is a fire suppressant system that's used all over the world, uh, especially at the U.S. military. In fact, they're using this in Iraq right now. It's basically a big foam machine. This is a striker, uh, striker vehicle that they're using it on and right there you can see that was made right here and it's actually protecting the lives of a lot of soldiers around the world more on that in just a minute and how the system works but we're in the town on this summer we're at rms assembly up uh, in north denver this is todd jackson vice president of the company it's yes, good sir. to see you sir good morning. let's walk down this way and, and, and tell me basically what what these systems are that they're putting together right now these are a five five gallon backpack system um what we're and doing? We're making these for IntelliGuard. We right? are making these for IntelliGuard. Um, basically, what we're starting with is the process up here. Is we are putting on the stickers, the labels, yeah, uh, the serial numbers. I'll put that around. Um, the serial numbers are extremely important as we're going through the process. So you can this track is them. Tracking everything from the the plumbing on the inside. Sure. But let me explain quickly. This is what a final assembled unit would look like. Yes, sir. And it goes on a backpack of a soldier or something. Yes. And and what water goes in here? Five gallons of water. And, um, and there's a hose that attaches to, which we'll show you a little bit later here. Five foot handset. Yeah. And uh, this goes on your back. You can walk with the handset and uh, put out fires. And put out fires, which is extremely important. And these are the tanks that go in the packs yeah, as the well. This is compressed air that would compressed, go in there. Compressed air, 4,500 PSI. So let's go around here. How many of these are you assembling for a Teleguard right now every day? Um, we are doing about 25 a day. Wow. And they're being shipped to Iraq and all over the world. All over the world, about. yes. And what's imp why this is so important is because if they get hit with an IED or something like that, there's, there's fire. They want to be able to put that fire out as quickly as possible so they can get out of the way. Get the troops out of harm ways. And what is this right here? We're bottling this, up some of the foam. This is the secret sauce. Good morning. Good morning sir. This is the secret sauce here? This is the secret sauce. Okay, this is an ATFLF foam. <laughs> foam. This is it right here. Can I take a look at it? All right. So coming up next half hour, thank you, Todd. Gary and Kyle, we're going to actually take this foam, put it on one of the systems that they're testing right back here, and we're going to foam someone's truck. Is that right? Yes. We're not going to set it on yes. fire, but we'll show you how the foam <laughs> works. If you want some more information about RMS Assembly, go to our website at 9news.com. Click on that Mornings button. It's under the As Seen on 9 News icon now right there on the home page, and you'll find all the information that you need to know. So, foaming up a truck, coming up in about 30 minutes. You Sounds are like fun. psyched. Sounds like a high school prank to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I think I did this actually one time in high school, but uh, it's very serious stuff. I'm sure it is. Thanks, Gregory. Okay. Thanks. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs>